What's going on fam? Welcome back to the channel. Before we hop into this amazing review, I just wanted to let you guys know I have three pairs of boots that are on sale. They are unworn, they're brand new in box, a pair of Mizuno Morelia Neo made in Japan's, those black and maroon red in a nine and a half US. And then I've got two pairs of Phantom Venoms in a size nine US, the red and black colorway, and then the DNA pack with that black and white. So all three are for sale. DM me on Instagram at noah.camada if you are interested in purchasing one of those pairs and we'll hop right into the video. All right, fam, so today I have a just so, oh, I'm so excited for this review because I have been looking for this pair of boots and I am very excited and thankful for the plug who I met recently, um, Jonathan, who is a boot guy in Seattle. He's based in Seattle, sources for a ton of different pros, and he managed to get me a pair of the Tiempo Legend 9 in the Launch Limited Edition Focus colorway, focus pack colorway. It's those white with the silver accents on them. I am so excited. I try, I literally had a pair of these in my cart and couldn't buy them because they were sold out instantaneously and he managed to source me a pair. So I am so excited and uh, I'll put his link down in the description box below so you can go check them out, especially for US based customers. Um, he gets boots to you super, super quick and has a ton of really great options on his Instagram. So go check out his Instagram. Anyway, let's jump into this review. I am so excited about these. First of all, because I love the Tiempo Legend 9. They're one of my favorite boots currently on the market. Uh, I'd say they're the, the, the best outside of one other boot, and that is the Speedflow Plus. So those two are kind of my favorite of what's currently on the market right now. It's what fits my feet the best, and it's also, I think, those are kind of my two favorites because I've got the leather one and then the Speed Boot. So jumping straight in, again, these are the 9 US, so you can see there. There you go, so 9 US. This comes in an awesome box. So I'll try to get the glare out, and obviously you guys will see it on the, the top-down shot, right? So it has Tiempo with the new O logo, and then a huge nine with these different accent marks. Um, and if you can see, hopefully that shows, yeah. Awesome, so something about the design of these boots, which you guys probably saw on the thumbnail, but the design of these boots is white with a reflective silver lining. So each of these little silver grip elements, basically, that they put over the top of the upper are actually designed like, uh, and they're called focus, because what it is, is I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to articulate this the best way possible. Sometimes when paparazzi take photos of really famous people, uh, celebrities will wear this type of reflective clothing that shines the flash up into their face so they can't see facial details. And that's the same technology. I mean, again, it's not gonna do that obviously, but like it's the same idea or tech that's on these boots. So their silver lining has a double meaning. One is each one of those little patterns that you see on the upper of the Tiempo Legend 9 in this Focus Pack colorway is an homage to a previous generation Tiempo. So that diamond stitching in the Tiempo 8 Elite is, you can see it pretty clearly, hopefully, right there. So this one is that diamond stitching from the upper, and then of course you've got the other, uh, I see Tiempo 5 in here, Tiempo 7 I believe and maybe four already. But yeah, super, super cool. And that's just the box. So anyway, that's a cool story. Um, let's hop straight into the unboxing. So silver box, and as soon as you open, oh, that's so cool. Okay, so on the inside, and you guys will see this from the top down, so no stress. You've got the no photo logo, this no photo with this, obviously the camera with the little hash through it, right? So no photo, it's all over this paper. It's all over the inside of this box in matte black. And it's such a cool detail that is an homage to that tech, that reflective technology so that they don't have facial details, right? So it's all about how do you, it's that focus pack, right? So focus on you, focus on whatever you're doing, in this case, playing football. Beautiful details on this box. I think Nike stepped it up. And the, here's the thing too, is this 
box is pretty much the same for the most part. It's a little more reflective, but it's the same it's the same silver box that most other Nike boots are in. It's just more reflective. So they didn't really do anything crazy. They just printed that logo and this stuff on the inside of the box, which I think is a great detail. So let's roll with this unboxing. Oh my goodness gracious. Here we go. Yeah, these are exceptional. They are so, so, so beautiful. I am just, holy moly. I'm so, like these look even better in person than they did on, in the pictures and stuff. They are so sick. So we'll go over a couple details. I'll get these out of the box in just a second. So I'll, I'll, I'll start getting these out of the box while I'm talking. The, uh, we'll go over a little bit of details of the Tiempo Legend 9 because I do want this to be a proper review, but at the same time, you guys can check out the other launch colorway, which was the Blackout Pack, the black with the gorgeous blue, like, uh, Tron colorway, basically. Um, oh, no way. Okay, this is, an ex this is an awesome detail. Okay, so comes, instead of string bags, look at this. You have two suede, boot bags, Tiempo 9. Look at that. So it's suede, it's a suede material. And then on the inside, it's this like silky stuff. So you put this in here and each one of your boots gets a silky little pouch. That is a fabulous detail. Man, these Nike killed it with this. Okay, so we'll take these out, but awesome, awesome, awesome boot bags. You've got one for each of your boots. Um, you could probably fit both of them in one of these, but that is all good. Very, very cool detail. I love that. 10 out of 10, Nike. Well done. That's excellent. Okay, so let's talk about this boot. So this boot is uh, a fundamentally a Tiempo Legend 9. The only thing different about this boot than all of the other Tiempos that have been released that aren't limited edition is that on the toe in the Tiempo Legend 9, the black colorway that I have, you've got little dimples basically or little uh, raised elements, like grip elements basically along the front, along this pad on the inside, and then of course on the one on the toe box. So all basically all of the places where you have the memory foam pods, and a lot of people were saying it's very similar to CTRs in the past, CTRs one through three in the past, it actually does feel like that a little bit. It's not as padded, I'd say, as those, but because it's leather, it offers a really nice cushion feel and a super soft sensation on feet. So that's something to consider as well. Um, so instead of this Tiempo having those little dots basically on the padded parts of this boot, it's got the grip elements in that silver that I was talking about before. So when you're looking at the boot, those silver elements right here where you're seeing all of those patterns. So all the patterns, there you go. So right there, um, those are all homages, obviously, as I said before, to older tempos. And all of those are the grip elements. So it's theoretically got like more grip than the other tempos do, but it's gonna be a very minimal amount, right? So this is not gonna be, this boot isn't gonna be ferociously more grippy than the regular tempos. Mesh, uh, sort of a dynamic, it's not a dynamic fit, obviously, because it's not a collar, uh, but it does have a mesh tongue instead of a detractable tongue that you can kind of move around. This one has a tongue that's in here and uh, it's a little bit different than the quad fit uh, tongue system that was in the Tiempo Legend 8 Elite. These actually uh, are, it's just a tongue that's connected like here. So it's much, much higher and it's, it doesn't wrap the midfoot as much as the Tampa Legend 8 did. I actually, I like both. I think they're both great. I prefer this one though, because it's a much more raw leather sensation and you've got much more leather basically from here all the way around to here. So you've got a ton of leather and then obviously the synthetic in the back with the, the heel counter. So that's something to think about as well if you are into leather boots. Um, this is one of the best, if not the best performing leather boot on the market um, that I would say is covered in leather, right? You have something like a Morelia Neo 3 Beta, which that review came out a little, uh, a couple days ago or a week or so ago now. And 
that is technically, yeah, okay, the best performing leather boot on the market, um, but that one only has leather in the forefoot, and I don't think that counts. What I would count is I would say the Tiempo Legend 9, the Morelia DNA, um, and then all the classic boots, right? So all the ones that are totally, completely leather. So this one I'd say is one of Nike's best done Tiempos, and here's the reason why. I love having, I, I actually really like the knit material in my boots, but I also love the leather in my boots. So having the perfect marriage of those two things in this football boot is a really, really cool thing for me. And I absolutely love the way these fit and feel. They are suitable for most foot types. I have total flipper feet, really wide um, in, in the midfoot all the way through the forefoot and very flat on the top. And these fit perfectly. It molds great to my feet. Yes, a little bit of break in time. I'd say anywhere between three to five hours of like proper play time and then they're they're great, no, no issues. I didn't have any blisters either, which is a huge question that I get quite a lot. Suede lining in the heel area, which fits so perfectly. If you're somebody who doesn't wear grip socks, oftentimes at the beginning of wearing in a football boot, sometimes you get blister in the heel, right? You put your you put your foot in the shoe and then right on that heel, you get a ton of blisters because maybe you don't like wearing grip socks, which is totally fine. This will keep your foot stable and inside the boot at all times, which I love. So suede lining, well done Nike, really soft, really well done. Um, the back, it's got uh, the Tiempo in silver, as you can see there, and then it's got the logo in the back. I'll try to hide behind it because the camera will only focus on something that's in front of my face. As soon as, it, as soon as it detects my eyes, it'll focus back and this will be out of focus. So, or we'll do this. And so it's like right next to my face. That's fine. Other than that, the TM, this one is no different than the other Tiempo that I reviewed. So definitely go check that out for any additional information that I'm forgetting to say here. I just love the backstory of this boot and I thought it was absolutely fascinating when they came out with this concept and they released this limited edition. This is one of 1200 pairs. I don't know, to be honest, if this one has um, like a number in it. I don't think they did that. My guess, and this is, guys, this is being totally honest. This is a, a no bullshit thing. I think they said 1,200 pairs, but it's probably more like 5,000 pairs or 4,000 pairs um, because it would be, I feel like these would be a lot more expensive because of what they are if they were, if there were only 1,200 pairs made in the world. So my guess is Nike says, oh, there's only 1,200, but they don't put a number on here at all. And so who really knows if it's 1,200? It's probably just BS and it's probably more than that. Um, but to generate hype, they make it, you know, a quote unquote limited edition pair. But I do not care. I think these are probably, Honestly, this might be a stretch. I think the blue, the black with the blue accents that I have, and then these are the two, obviously they were released together, are, I, I think these are two of the best colorways of, of launch boots ever. So for a Tiempo Legend 9, you know, consider every other boot, what was its launch colorway? I think these ones and I think the black and blue are the best of all time, in my opinion. That's just like, I think they are so sick. The silver and the white look so good in person. And if you can get your hands on a pair, oh man, these are awesome. They run probably about 30 US dollars, 40 US dollars more than retail. So a normal uh, Tiempo Legend 9, depending on the website you get it on, full retail, without any discounts is about $225, I think, $230. These run about $260 now on the aftermarket, $280 sometimes, depending on who you buy them from. So that's just uh, that's just what it is. But great pair of boots. Very excited to try these on on feet. I will see you guys in the on feet portion of the video. I expect them to fit no different than the other Tiempos, but we're going to do it anyway because they're going to look saucy as hell on feet. So very excited for that. Stay tuned. Here we go, guys. All right, fam, we have the Tiempo Legend 9 Elite in the Focus Pack colorway. Uh, if you haven't seen my review of the other boots, those um, the black and blue ones, definitely go check those out. But these are a fabulous color. I'm so excited to uh, have these in my collection, partially because the color uh, and partially because I actually really love the Tiempo Legend 9 Elite. Um, so let's get these on feet and I will explain 
how they are. So right away, if you haven't tried Tiempo Legend 9s, I would absolutely recommend it. They are fantastic fitting shoes. I absolutely love how they fit and feel. Definitely a little bit tight because they were sitting in my car and it's really cold outside, so they're a, a little bit stiff right now. Um, but once you get them warm and once you get the leather stretched a little bit, it is, oh, they are just a fantastic pair of boots. So here they are on feet. Don't worry, I'll get lots of up close shots of these boots that I'll show you um, as I talk about the fit and feel. So as far as width is concerned, um, these boots are fairly wide. They'll fit most foot types, especially because most of the upper is a leather material. You don't get into the synthetic until you get into the heel liner. So basically what that means is as you wear the boots in, the leather will stretch and mold to your foot. And as you can see, without even tying the laces tight, they already are starting to shape to my foot. I absolutely love that about the Tiempos. It's one of my favorite reasons why leather boots are some of the most comfortable shoes on the market. The sole plate is actually super aggressive um, in a way that makes it easy to pivot and turn. Obviously this is an indoor facility, but it still is the type of turf that you would see outdoor because it does have those little pellets in here. Um, and thanks to Arena Sports, obviously, for uh, allowing me to be on the pitch. I'm not going to play right now, but I am going to do these boot reviews. So that's fantastic. Um, and basically what it means, guys, is that uh, there's the conical studs on the forefoot and the midfoot area. And then in the back, in the heel area, you've got those bladed studs. And the bladed studs are what really give you that aggressive, sharp turning ability um, when you're pushing off sideways and stuff. So it's really easy to get a good lift off as you're going sideways, which is awesome. Um, I would definitely say that these run true to size. I'm wearing my usual 9 US and they fit perfect. I like my boots to be really snug. So my big toe is right up on the end of the boot. Obviously maybe a couple, a millimeter or two of space, but it's just enough so that my foot slides perfectly in. It fits excellently and they are just a badass, especially with white socks and a black kit. They look absolutely stunning. So I will definitely be debuting these at some point. I know they're super rare, but I don't care. I'm gonna wear them. I'm not gonna buy boots anymore that I'm not gonna wear, especially the special edition ones. I'm just gonna enjoy them, wear the hell out of them, and then maybe frame them someday. So again, Tiempo Legend 9 Elites are a fantastic pair of boots. They're actually really light too. Um, so they're, I think they're like 7.2 ounces or 7.1 ounces. So pretty light for an all leather boot, especially a Tiempo. The previous gen was like, or maybe it's like 204 grams for these. And then it was like 230 for the ones that were the previous gen, the eight elites. So that's something to think about as well. If you do want a lighter leather boot, it's kind of these, the Mizuno Morelia Neo Beta 3s, and then the Mizuno Morelia DNAs are kind of your only options as far as good quality, lightweight leather boots. Um, everything else on the market is a lot heavier. The Copas are super heavy and they're not very comfortable. I don't, I wouldn't recommend the Copas for anyone. Um, the laceless ones are okay. They're kind of a unique sensation, but I'm not a huge fan of those. Um, but yeah, man, these, the, the Tiempo 9 Elites are fantastic boots. I'm so excited uh, to have these in my collection. Definitely go pick yourself up a pair because they are a great pair of boots. That's it for the review, guys. Thanks so much for joining me again for this review and on feet portion of the Tiempo Legend 9 Elite in the Focus Pack Limited Edition colorway. As always, be awesome. Take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.